Kate joins us now and still not feeling quite like fall, but it could soon. Yeah, it could. You know, every day in the seven days above average, but there are a few days that are closer to what it should feel like at the end okay. of September. So we've got a nice warm stretch. It's been a warm start to fall, as sure we know, is. and that's going to continue a few days in the 70s, few days in the 80s. We're just kind of back and forth here throughout the forecast, but I don't hear too many people complaining. It's going to be another weekend that feels like summer, and we know we've got a long stretch of cold weather ahead of us. In fact, chilly right through March and April oftentimes, so let's enjoy this weather while it's here, shall we? Let's take a look outside right now. We're going to start off with a look at temperatures across the region where we're sitting at 80 degrees right now in Philadelphia. It feels really nice outside. That's our high so far today, by the way. It's 81 in Wilmington, 81 degrees in Reading, 81 up in Allentown, so we are above average by more than five degrees in many spots today. Even though today is comfy, it definitely feels more like early or mid-September, not so much like the end of September, but we're headed quickly towards October and temperatures will still be above average as we start the new month next week. Dew points right now, this makes all the difference. So when dew points are in the 40s like this, that is a low dew point. That means very, very low humidity. That means even though it's 80 degrees, it's a comfy 80 degrees. It's like everyone in the Southwest always talks about the dry heat. That's what we're feeling today. It's a beautiful day to be out and about. Great day to go for a run or a jog or just a nice long walk with the dogs after work today. Storm Scan 3 showing clear skies across the region, but here comes our next weather maker. This is a cold front. It's draped through the Great Lakes right now. It doesn't have much with it. We're not talking severe weather or anything like that. Not a ton of precipitation even. Just a few scattered showers tomorrow afternoon as that front comes through. Out ahead of it, a southwest wind will be picking up here tonight into tomorrow, and that will bring warmer air in and also higher humidity. But then behind the front tomorrow night will cool down again, at least briefly, on Friday. Storm Scan 3 locally not showing anything at all. It is completely clear out there this evening. Overnight, mainly clear and milder with a low of 63 degrees. For tomorrow, sun and clouds, 85 the high. That is about 10 full degrees above average, even slightly more than that. A spotty afternoon shower is possible, likely around 3 to 5 p.m. It doesn't look like much, but then as we head into the weekend, it stays very, very warm Saturday and Sunday. So it will be comfortable Friday afternoon. We'll see a spotty shower chance late in the day on Saturday, maybe even a thunder shower. And it stays very warm through Sunday. All days through the rest of the week, actually through the whole seven day, as I mentioned, are above average. But you can see the dew points are going to fluctuate. So while today is comfortable, tomorrow is a lot more humid with a dew point of 64. Friday, we're back to comfortable. And then the humidity spikes again for the weekend. Saturday will be warm and very steamy with a dew point near 70. Sunday, 62 on the dew point, so getting a little bit better. If you're headed to the Temple game Saturday afternoon at 3.30, it'll be hot, it'll be humid. Dress for summer weather, not football weather more like baseball weather, thunderstorm chance in the afternoon, and that could impact the game. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast, a spotty late day shower tomorrow. It's warm and steamy at 85. Friday is sunny with lower humidity, a beautiful end to the week, but then we're right back to the upper 80s Saturday. It cools down again Sunday into Monday. We'll finish out September on a nice note Monday, but 78, even though it's the coolest day in our seven day forecast, is still above average by about four or five degrees, and then we're right back to the 80s. Look at the start of October, Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, low to mid 80s with mm. sunshine both days. It's beautiful, but it's not quite that crisp fall air we're looking right, for. Right, right. All right. We'll Thank there. you, Kate. We'll get that right. Exactly.